Okay, so we've got our off-grid calculator. First things first, let's select our appliances. So you click in this box here and you've got a drop-down menu, uh, different appliances you can select that are applicable to your system. So let's just pick a few out. Got the ceiling fan, computer, dishwasher. And all the way down the bottom, we've got a custom appliance. So if, if, the, if you've got an appliance that you're not going to use very often, just say you've got something like a grinder. You're only going to use it once a month, something like that. It's worth factoring it in so that your inverter is powerful enough uh, to, so that you can use it when you need it. So let's just put that in. We'll put in 3,000 watts. Even if you just put it in at 0.1 hours per day, it at least accounts for it and we can get an inverter big enough to power it. So let's just uh, work our way through the numbers here. So we've got the potential load. So basically that's all of our items added up together. So it, you're running watts, you've got 3000 watts for the grinder, 1800 watts for the dishwasher, uh, desktop computer, three ceiling fans and a large air conditioner. We've then got our average kilowatt hours per day. We work that out by going the quantity times the running watts times the hours per day, and we then add all of those up together and we get our average kilowatt hours per day. Moving down, we've got number of days reserve power. So we've just set that as a standard as one. So that's basically how many days of battery backup do you want? So you want at least one day of battery backup. If you've got a generator, you can usually work on one. If you, if you are not going to have a generator on your system, you'd want at least two days of reserve power. Moving down from there, um, we've got our winter average daily effective solar. So what we've got to do when we're sizing a solar array for your system is we've got to make sure it's going to produce enough power for you uh, at the worst time of year. So we use three as an average. If you're in Tasmania, that might be closer to 2.5. If you're up in northern Queensland, it might be closer to five hours per day uh, just because there's more sunshine. We do have an Australian solar radiation figures document that's available on our off-grid page. So you can uh, check that, what your local uh, radiation will be if you want to get that uh, exactly spot on. And then we've also got our three phase little tick box there. You can just tick that there if you require a three phase off-grid system. Okay, so let's go ahead and click calculate and see what we come up with. Right, yeah, so first things first, we've got the results which shows our inverter, solar panels and batteries. The way we work the inverter out is it takes your potential load and uh, it works on using 70% of your, your potential load. So that's a pretty conservative um, estimate. Um, some people might be using less than that. You might only be using half, but we've, we've worked on using 70%. We've then got our solar panels, so we're working on basically your average kilowatt hours per day divided by three, and that'll match up the solar panels accordingly. And uh, the batteries, uh, the battery storage is your average kilowatt hours per day. The range is 10.1 to 15 kilowatt hours, given that we've got an average kilowatt hours per day of 12.11. And that would change if you if you put that to two, that would then uh, double double the range to say 20 to 25. So let's have a look at the systems. So the calculator it picks out systems that are applicable to the appliances that you've selected. Uh, so there's there's different options here. Um, it basically basically comes down to a difference in the type of battery. So we've got AGM style batteries. They're great for weekenders. Uh, we've got lithium batteries, which are excellent when you for everyday use because they've got a high discharge um, cycles on them. So basically, you can work out systems according to your budget from there. And then, of course, we've got the form below. So if you'd like any assistance, you can fill out your name, email, phone, and a message. And when you email that to us, it'll actually send us uh, the appliances that you selected as well. Uh, that way we can get a, a good idea of where you're coming from and we can help you work out what you need from there. So we really look forward to hearing from you. Give us a call. Send us